welcome back to my channel so in case you're new here i create fashion beauty and lifestyle and all these sort of content like related content on my channel but today's video is of course quite a different one like you already know it from the title today's video is sort of like a tutorial about how to make your filter so a couple of days back i made my own instagram filter and oh my god the response i got was insane and many of you even asked me that how did i make it so i decided to make like a very detailed video about it now coming to the main part to make that filter what all you are going to need so obviously you will have to have your instagram account and facebook account and other than that you will need a laptop or a computer and a mobile phone that's like basic and on your laptop you need to download this software called spark ar which is completely free and also you will need another photo editing app or software so for software there is obviously photoshop but photoshop is like quite difficult for me i'm not really into it properly i just don't know how to use it properly so i prefer using pixart pixart is like a mobile software which is very very easy to use and obviously i'm gonna give you the full tutorial about it so don't worry just keep on watching the video uh, initially it might look that it is difficult to make like a filter but it is not actually that difficult once you totally understand the software and you just get uh, into it properly it took me like two days to properly uh, understand the software and then just you know try and trial and error basically so after like a couple of trials i finally successfully made my filter so yeah that's all uh, it is just about experiments and if you want to know how i made my own instagram filter and if you want to make yours as well so then keep on watching Okay, so to download the software, come to your browser and search Spark AR Studio and there it is. So after that, this page is going to open up and then you need to download this link. Like click on this link, then this page is going to appear. Like this is the whole Spark AR Studio page is going to look like. Then you just download it here. Obviously, I've downloaded it already, so I'm not going to show you that. But it is very, very easy to download and it's free completely. So you just need to download it over here. And then now I'm going to show you how to make your filter. So once you download the Spark AR Studio, this is what it is going to look like. Then obviously, you need to create new projects. So click on new project. Once you open the project, this is what the new project is going to look like. And then here you can see there are various face examples where you can actually try out your filter. But I'm obviously going to use my face. So hello, there am I. So now to start from basic, the first and the easiest thing which we will do is add smooth skin effect. Like you see those smooth retouching skin, that's what we are going to do now. So for that, you need to click here on add objects. And then under face tracker, you click here on face mesh. And here a weird cover is going to come up on your face. Then here you click on material. So make sure to always rename your material because at the end it looks same, all of it. So you might get, you know, confused. So always rename your material. I'm going to rename it as uh, smooth skin. Smooth skin, enter. And then you go here on the shader type click in retouching and then here you can see so here you can see smooth skin like you can make it till 100 which is like too much i feel and then this is the very minimal one so i like to keep it here around 50 yeah this is perfect now moving to the main part where we add those stickers in our face so for that you need to go on the spark hair studio and download some face reference Assets. So now come to the Spark AR Studio again where you have downloaded the Spark AR and then in here search for face assets and so this page appears directly where there is written download the face reference assets here. So you just click on the face reference assets here and then you download it. Obviously I already downloaded it so I'm not going to download again and I'm quickly going to show you what assets it has. These are the assets like you can see this is the feminine face and then there is the masculine face and then there is face mask tracker so this is what we are going to use the next thing we're going to do now is edit the sticker using the face mask tracker so for that open pixar click on the plus sign and then you look for the color background and mind you to use this color background because it is png file and spark ar only supports png files after that, go ahead and click on add photos and 
add the face mesh tracker but mind you only add it do not paste it because we need to remove these at the end and then go ahead with the stickers there are a lot of sticker options in pixar so you can easily use them so here i am just figuring out the sticker and editing it according to my choice you can use any sticker and you can you know experiment from your side as well and after you're done adding the sticker you need to remove the face mesh tracker and then the only sticker is going to be visible and then you're just done making the sticker so save it and export it to your computer okay guys so now that we are done making the sticker using the face reference assets it is the real time to put the sticker on your face and this is the most interesting part okay so now you click here in face mesh where you create a new material again because every time you do paste a new thing you need to create a new material so again rename the material as blush because our effect is blush effect after you're done renaming it go to shader type again and now click on the face paint and now you are ready to add that sticker on your face so just click on new texture and then this is the blush butterfly open and voila look at that butterfly blush on my face isn't that easy by the way you can also enlarge this thing so that you can see your face distinctly and yeah that's all that's how you make your filter isn't it easy it is easy right it, there are some tricks here and there and you just need to you know learn to use the software properly and that's all after this you just need to you know upload and export it into your spark air studio and then you need to link it with your instagram account and all those stuff and after that they just take some time for approval and once they approve your filter it is live on your instagram so yeah that is all for the whole video i hope you all understood the process of making a filter and hope this was helpful for you and a big shout out to all the people who tried out my filter I can't get you out of my mind it's like I feel it for the first time been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life so yeah, that's all. I'm gonna go now. Please do subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And don't forget to press on that notification bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And comment down below and let me know what else you want to watch on my channel. And yeah, that's all. Bye.